morning, little learners. Today we're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. Can you get your itsy bitsy out? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Great job! We're going to be talking all about spiders. Ooh, but first we need to know what the letter is. What is the letter, letter, letter? What is the letter of the week? It has a straight line down and one, two, three lines across. It's the letter E. The E says eh. Let's hear it. The E says Eh, as in elephant or egg. Oh, but the E is a magic letter. It's a vowel, which means it can also say its name, like ear or eagle. The E says eh or e. Ooh, we're going to learn another spider song. Do you know the spiders on the floor? All right, let's start with our spider. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Who could ask for any more? There's a spider on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Oh, no, now it's on my leg. Now the spider's on my leg, on my leg. Oh, the spider's on my leg, on my leg. Oh, it's really, really big. This old spider on my leg. There's a spider on my leg, on my leg. Oh no, now it's on my stomach. There's a spider on my stomach, on my stomach. There's a spider on my stomach, on my stomach. Oh, he's just a silly lummock. This old spider on my stomach. There's a spider on my stomach, on my stomach. Oh no, it's going up. What's this? Now the spider's on my neck, on my neck. Now the spider's on my neck, on my neck. I'm gonna be a wreck. There's a spider on my neck. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. Oh no, what's next? Now the spider's on my face, on my face. Ugh. The spider's on my face, on my face. Oh, what a disgrace. There's a spider on my face. There's a spider on my face, on my face. Oh no. Now the spider's on my head, on my head. Now the spider's on my head, on my head. Oh, I wish I'd stay in bed because there's a spider on my head. There's a spider on my head, on my head. But he jumps off and runs to you. That's a silly song, isn't it? So today we're learning about spiders. And spiders are part of a family called the arachnids. Can you say that very big word? Arachnid. And other insects are part of the arachnid family. We have spiders, scorpions, and ticks. And something that makes arachnids an arachnid is that they don't have any wings. Do you see that? No wings. There are eight legs. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. And the body has two parts. One, two. And there are no antennas. So an ant couldn't be an arachnid. They have antennas and they have three body parts. And they're carnivorous. Well, that's a big word. That means that they eat other insects. Hmm. Now, this is really important. We're going to find out why are arachnids important to us humans? They are important because they eat other insects that might be annoying or even invasive to humans that might eat our food and our crops and then we wouldn't be able to eat them. Their venom can be used, which is like what comes out of their little things usually, can be used to make medicine for humans. And scientists are researching this right now to see if they can use um, spider venom to make new medicines. 
Spider silk is one of the strongest natural materials in the world. Can you believe that? I wonder why they have such strong spider silk. Might come up in our book. We'll see. And then some cultures even eat spiders because they're a good source of protein. Interesting. I wonder how they taste. We're going to sing our goodbye song, but don't go far because we're going to be reading The Very Busy Spider. But I'm going to go on the big screen for that. So help me sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. We'll see you real soon, my darlings, next week. Have a great week. Today we're reading a story called The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Some of you might have already read this book. It's a pretty good book. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. This way. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. A spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. We learned during group time that a spider's um, thread is one of the most, silk is one of the strongest natural materials in the world. Pretty cool, huh? In this book, it's kind of bumpy. Nay, nay, said the horse, want to go for a ride? But the spider didn't answer. She was too busy spinning her web. Moo Moo, said the cow, want to eat some grass? But the spider didn't answer. She was busy spinning her web. Ba Ba, said the sheep, want to run in the meadow? But the spider didn't answer. She was too busy spinning her web. Mama, said the sheep, the goat, want to jump in the rocks? But the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? But the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof, woof, said the dog. Want to chase a cat? But the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Look at, I see something coming. Look at that. Meow, meow, said the cat. Want to take a nap? Now look at it. And we know that, that spiders are predators to other insects, don't we? Oink, oink, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? Better watch out for the spider. But the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. cock a doodle -doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesky fly? <gasps> and the spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. That must be why the web is so strong, because it helps catch their food. Who, who, asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? But the spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very busy day. Where is that spider? Look at that. That is such a fun story. I like that we got to talk about some of the things that we learned about in our group time. Well, thank you for coming today, friends.